Hey what's up guys this is Nair Sheikh from blogtut.com and today we're gonna see how to create a multi-vendor e-commerce website. Basically what is a multi-vendor e-commerce website? It's a website wherein different sellers or other people can register to your website as a seller and start selling their product on your website. For example we have Amazon. When you see in Amazon you can register yourself as a Amazon seller and you can sell your products on amazon.com. So basically this is the concept of multi-vendor e-commerce website so without wasting any time let's see the demo website which we'll be creating in this particular tutorial okay so first let's see how this website will be there for a seller or a vendor because that is the most important thing and a very important and a very awesome feature of this website which we are going which we are going to create in this tutorial is that uh, we are giving the seller a front end dashboard that which means that the seller don't have to come on the dashboard the back end dashboard which we have the wordpress admin page if you remember if you have uh, you know basic knowledge about wordpress you know that uh, we have a dashboard uh, which is wp dash admin so the seller won't be able to go to that page they have their own front end dashboard so let's see how that looks like for example as you can see this is the website which we'll be creating now whenever a new person comes uh, and visit on your new website they'll get all these options okay so for example they want to register as a seller so what they'll do they'll click over here start selling when they do so they'll be redirected to this page they here we have different options to log in to register and if you see the register option we have two different options register as a customer and register as a vendor so for example now i want to register as a vendor so i'll just click on here and i'll get some more options okay store url and so on but uh, i have already already registered to this website as a vendor okay so what i'll do i'll click on login over here and as you can see guys this is the front end dashboard for the seller this is amazing believe me guys you won't see this kind of website anywhere this is just awesome the plugins which we are used the theme which we have used is just amazing and this is the best theme and the plugin combination which you can get for any multi vendor e-commerce website okay so when the seller comes to that dashboard this is how it will look like and as you can see we have a report a dashboard okay wherein it will show this is the sales this is the earning and as you can see the earning is less than the sales why is that so see basically uh, when you're selling on amazon uh, you're not getting the whole amount if you have any basic knowledge uh, on selling on amazon or flipkart you know that the amazon or flipkart charges around 10 percent so for example if you have sold goods worth rupees uh, worth rupees 10,000 then they will be charging thousand rupees as their commission for maintaining the website and giving you all this facility and so on okay so we will also be giving 90% to the seller and 10% for us for the website owner then we have two page views one order this is basically the dashboard how a seller will see all this analytics on the front page sales this month as you can see uh, there is uh, sales worth two thousand dollars over here okay then we have orders two completed orders okay one order in process okay then we have this review and product options okay then we have over here products when we click on this we'll see all the products which we have created okay so uh, at present we have created only one product so we can edit this product from here and as you can see it has got two views till now okay so we have created a product and if you want to create a new product you'll just create click on this button add new product and you uh, you add a new product we'll see all these things later on uh, first we'll we are just seeing the demo how this website look like so that you can make a decision to watch this video further or just skip okay so then we have this orders option here we can see all the orders which we have got on the website okay so this is order number 204 order amount 206 dollars okay status completed so status completed means that we have delivered this order to the customer okay so here you can see this order in detail then we have another order worth 70 dollars and it is in processing 
now as i told you earlier in processing means the you have received the order but you have not delivered the product to the customer and suppose you have delivered the product to the customer then you can just click on this button okay and this thing will be changed to completed the status will be changed to completed okay now here is the coupons option a great feature really an amazing feature a seller different seller can create different coupons for their products okay so here we have created a coupon near six year 60 okay fixed amount the uh, user will be getting 60 percent of their product if they are purchasing anything for more than ten uh, hundred dollars okay then they if they use this coupon they'll get 60 percent off okay so user or the seller can create their own coupons they can uh, fix an expiry date for that coupon they can have different options over there okay then we have this reports a uh, very detailed report uh, about their sales their earnings and so on as you can see the first one is overview and here we have sales in this period basically in this month we have sold this much amount of money average daily sales is around nine dollars and two orders placed four items purchased and charged for shipping so we have we have charged four dollars for shipping we'll see these shipping options later on in this video now you can see this uh, uh, report by different uh, criteria for example sales by day top selling product when you see top selling product basically we have added only one product till now then that's why we are seeing only one product over here this product has four sales till now top earning product always obviously we'll see this same product because we have created only one product over here now next option is the reviews option uh, you can or the seller can see different reviews by different customers and they have different options for example they can unapprove this uh, review they can mark this as spam or and they can throw this review in trash okay they can also view this comment they can see the rating and so on then we have the withdraw options basically it is the withdrawn setting okay so for example the seller has made uh, sales of around thousand dollars so what we have we have different options for example uh, we can pay that seller uh, through paypal or through bank transfer so we can select that thing over here and we have different options for example if a seller wants to withdraw the money withdraw what has what he has earned he must reach a certain amount for example hundred dollars so we can set that and we can also set a fixed date for example he the um the sale after 10 days of the sale he can withdraw on the money so these are the different options which you'll see later on in this video okay then we have settings option again here we have different options we can uh, set up our banner our image we can have a shop name numbers of product to see uh, to show per page we can have our address phone number and so on everything will be over here okay this is the basic setting then we can also change the payment setting basically if you want to change your paypal email address you can change it over here and we also have bank transfer we have not enabled that that's why you're not seeing anything over here but we can also use that option you can transfer uh, your money to the seller through bank transfer okay then we have shipping options it's all up to you whether you want to you know enable the seller to control all the shippings or you as the owner of the website want want to control this shipping thing okay so we'll select these things later in this video okay so basically this is how the dashboard looks like this was the most important thing guys because you know when you're creating a multi-vendor website the most important thing is to create is to give authority to the seller to create their own product to create their own coupon and as you can see this is so simple and it is all on front end so this is really amazing this is just mind blow mind blowing and let's see the uh, front end the front page uh, the main website which the customer will see so that was for the seller and this page or the, the uh, this look is for the customer a new customer when when they come to your website this is how they'll see okay and we have maintained all the you know the design and everything according to the giant companies like flipkart amazon alibaba and so on okay so this is how their website looks like so we have also created a similar website at the top as you can see there is a big search bar then we have this wish list cart and then we have a top menu uh, you know you can track your order you can see your cart you can see my account you can change your password and so on from here you can see your orders everything under my account 
then here we have some different categories and then a slider then few images as you can see according to the categories uh, okay then we have this special offer and we also have a timing going on for example it says five days and some hours so for this particular time we are giving some discount on this product so if a per person makes purchase within that time frame he'll get this discount okay then we have uh, even us around six products or uh, feature product on on sale product top rated product when you click on on sale product you will see the products which are going on sale okay and you can also see the see the top rated product so user can the customer can make their choices okay then when we come down we have different designs of product for example one product is there as a main product then we have a few products beside that then again we have this best seller the best selling products on this website and these all products are created by different sellers or in other either in other words you can say these are products of different sellers on okay and you as an admin as the website owner can also create your own products so you can provide a mix of all the products whether created by you or created by some different sellers okay then we have this recently added products then at the bottom we have a few simple products like feature products on sale products top rated products obviously you know you can change all these products you can change this criteria and so on and this is the footer okay now let's see how a single product looks like so let's click on any product and see how it looks like just click on this product console game console controller okay this is how a single product looks like this is the product when you hover this product we as you can see the image gets zoomed in and this is very important okay and we can see how many products are then in stock it can be back ordered we'll see this back order thing later on in this video then this is the short description it is wireless motion sensing and whatever it is and here is the option to add to wish list add to cart okay then we have some few more images over here then this is a very important uh, uh, feature i would say you know this feature if you see uh, it is available on big websites like amazon and flipkart you know when they're purchasing one product when you, suppose if you have ever purchased uh, some processor or motherboard from amazon then you also get some options below that product key uh, suppose you are purchasing one processor then they'll also show you the motherboard which is uh, in you know fit with fit with that processor or with that uh, motherboard okay and you have different ram and, and so on so basically the idea is to increase the sale and you know generate more sales because when a person is per, per purchasing one product when we also expect him to per purchase some different products okay and he can select all these products and add to cart from here then we have this description the long description then we have shipping options okay you can select with shipping and get the shipping cost from here okay the quantity he can select state and when he click on the shipping he'll get the shipping cost six dollars okay then we have specifications option then we have reviews if we, if there is any review and or the user wants to provide review on this product he can provide that then we also have vendor information who is the vendor who is the seller for this product okay then we have some related products this is also important you know when the person is searching for one product he also wants to see different product which are related to that product so basically when the products are from the same category those products will be shown over here under related products so user can purchase different products from here okay then we have different options we also have a compare option you know you can add two products in compare and then you can click on this compare button and you will get a comparison of that product and there are many many different options in this website which we are going to create you'll see all those uh, options later on when we start creating the website this was just a demo to show you guys how a website which we are going to create in this video would look like okay and i hope you guys like this video and you guys uh, like this a uh, demo website which i have shown you and you guys are really excited to make this website because this website the multi vendor website was requested by so many people that i have to you know keep the different products on side and i had i started working on this product project and i finally am recording this video okay so guys let's get started with this product to create any kind of website we need two basic things a domain name and a web host 
okay so basically what is a domain name as you can see over here this is nayashik.com so this is the domain name google.com is a domain name facebook.com is a domain name and what is a web host web host is basically a computer or a hard drive somewhere in the world where all the data all the images whatever is there on your website is saved at that place for example when you open facebook you see all those images all those different things so those images are actually saved somewhere in the world in a computer which is 24 7 running okay so that is a web host so we will need a domain name and a web host for both domain and hosting i recommend tmd hosting and i'll explain you why i recommend tmd hosting in a moment okay so open a new tab and just type in blog slash tmd okay guys when you do so you will be redirected to this page okay just scroll down and here we have three different plans let me zoom out a bit okay okay so we have three different plans summer cloud rain cloud storm cloud why i prefer tmd hosting for e-commerce website there are many reasons and you can see all those reasons here over here the first and the most important reason is ssd space you know there is a lot of difference between hdd and ssd if you don't believe me you can just go on and search on google you'll get your options ssd versus hdd web hosting okay and just click on images and let me show you this thing okay Okay, well, guys as you can see the first one is speed difference and as you can see there is a lot of difference between these two different hostings the ssd is way faster than the hdd okay and there are different latency is also very low lower is better okay latency should be lower you know basically the time your website takes to load the website okay so it should be very small time so basically your website should load within few seconds or milliseconds okay so you can do your own research and you will find that ssd is way more better than hdd okay so the first reason and the most important reason why we prefer tmd hosting is that it provides ssd space and not only that not only that it provides unlimited ssd space which is just amazing okay and not only that guys we can host unlimited websites on this particular hosting account for example if you see the demo website it is electro.nayashake.com electro.nayashake.com is just a subdomain of nayashake.com and i have you know hosted both this domain and subdomain and around hundreds of different domains on this particular domain name on this particular web host okay you also get a free domain nayashake.com was given as a free domain name with this account okay you have premium support you have cpanel you have wildcard ssl which is just amazing see when you're creating an e-commerce website ssl is just must you just cannot create a website without ssl okay what is that ssl here you will see this secure button over here the secure sign which this uh, a green secure lock button that is ssl and that gives a sense of confidence to the customer that their information the credit card debit card information which they are providing to you on your website is safe okay and it has wildcard ssl it means that not only you'll get ssl certificate for one domain name but for many different domain names for example if you see the demo website it also has an ssl certificate my main website nayashik.com also has an ssl certificate so this is really amazing okay so for the money which you are spending you're getting a lot of things guys and this is the best thing which i recommend and you sh you guys should also go with this thing okay so basically you know how to do that just go to blogtoot.com slash tmd and you can choose any of this uh, from this one summer rain or storm i am using the storm cloud and i also prefer this uh, package this uh, storm cloud package and i always prefer and suggest only those things which i have used and i am using and i have experience with okay so i am using this pro this uh, particular plan and i am really satisfied with this one that is why i am referring and suggesting you guys to this thing so just click on sign up now
here you have to choose in your free domain name whatever you want okay just type in the domain name which you want for free and you can select dot com that dot net what do you want i already have a domain name so i'll click on over here but i strongly recommend if you're getting something for free then why not get it okay so make sure you are under register a new domain and type in your domain name and click on proceed but i'll click on over here i already have a domain name and put in my domain name now click on proceed okay guys so here is the checkout option you here you have to fill in some basic information like your first name last name email address and so on and here there are two different payment options so you can pay it by credit card or debit card or you can also pay it by paypal okay so you just enter your card information over here then we have this thing uh you have to choose your data centers and you have to choose the nearest uh, data center that is more preferable so for me singapore is the nearest uh, data center for me so i'll select this one and here you have to select the period uh, to 12 months 24 months 36 months i basically would uh, suggest you guys to go with 12 months then make sure everything over here is unticked and then we have this promo code option i would really like to thank tmd for providing me and for providing you guys a coupon code for which you will get seven percent off basically you get only five percent off with regular coupon codes but they have provided me a special one with which you can get seven percent off so just type in nayar yt which stands for nayar youtube okay it's n a w y a r y t and click on apply Okay guys as you can see this promo code gives you 7% off this purchase okay so this is amazing you are getting an amazing discount now just tick mark over here I agree to the TMT terms of services and click on checkout okay guys when you click on that checkout button you will receive an email address from TMT hosting this is a very very important email address make sure you save all this information somewhere uh, in your local computer you can also mail this uh, or forward this email to different email address if you own more than one email address so that you know uh, you can be sure that it is secure and you have access to this thing because you know it has all the important you know information links which you will need in future for example it has your cpanel username your password your name servers and your you know cpanel link and so on so make sure you save all this information somewhere in your computer now what you have to do is you'll see this control panel link over here just open that link in a new tab basically it's nothing that uh, it's just your dom your domain name slash cpanel when you go to your domain name slash cpanel you will be redirected to this page okay now copy your username and password from here and paste it over here in the cpanel and click on login okay guys this is our cpanel now what we have to do we have to install wordpress on our domain name so for that scroll down and you'll see this thing softaculous apps installer and you'll see the first option is wordpress just click on that okay now click on install now and from here select https www okay and select your domain name from your whatever domain name you want your website to be on okay and in the directory make sure everything is empty so just select this wp and delete this thing it should be empty now we have this site name site description we can change all these things later on from our dashboard so no need to change it from here now we have username and password you can put some different username for example i am putting this nayar shake and also the password should be different okay so make sure you change the username and password or else there are very high chances of your website getting hacked okay now here is the email address option make sure you select an email address which is active and you have access to that email address because you will be getting you know many different and important informations regard uh, information regarding your website on this particular email address okay and obviously you have to select english from your rest everything is fine just click on install now as you can see guys it took only few seconds to install wordpress on your website now what we have to do just open this link in a new tab okay guys so you will see your dashboard over here now what we have to do 
we have to install the theme in our website okay so basically we have installed wordpress now it's time to install the theme why theme let's see how our website looks like now just hover over here and open this link in a new tab okay so this is how our website looks like right now and we have to change these things for that we use a theme okay so come back to your dashboard hover over appearances and click on themes now here you have to click on add new and we have to add that theme which uh, the theme which we have used in our demo website over here so for that what we have to do just open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash electro okay guys once you do so you will be redirected to a different page to this page and this is the theme which we have used in our WordPress uh, demo website which we have created the multi vendor website okay so we have used this theme this is just an amazing theme as you can see it has 4.90 average rating which is amazing more than 164 people have rated this website uh, this theme it has got more uh, got more than 2000 uh, around 3000 sales this is just amazing super awesome theme and this is trending if you see this uh, logo over here this is trending okay so this is the trending theme this is amazing theme and i have used the same theme uh, uh in in my demo website so go ahead and buy now click on buy now and purchase this theme i won't be doing that because i have already purchased that theme okay so now it's time to add this theme and upload this theme when you purchase that theme you will get a zip file so what you have to do just click on upload theme over here now click on choose file basically this is not how your theme file would look like it will be like uh, themeforest.com something and then you have to open that zip file and under that zip file there will be another zip file which would look something like this electro theme.zip file and you have to upload that zip file okay so make sure you don't upload the main file or else you'll get style sheet error and so on you have to use uh, the file which is under the main zip file then select this file and click on open now click on install now and if you're using google chrome you can see at the left bottom of the uh, browser the progress uploading progress okay so by the time this theme is getting uploaded you can do one thing you can subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up to this video and if you guys have any doubt you can also post a comment in this video okay so i'll be more than happy to help you guys okay guys so our theme has successfully been installed now it's time to activate the theme so just click on this activate button okay now it will ask you to install some plugins so just click on over here begin installing plugins now select this thing it will select all the plugins which are there over here and from bulk action select install and click on apply okay guys so all our plugins have been uh, installed now it's time to activate all the plugins so just click on over here return to required plugin installer now again select this thing tick mark this thing everything will get selected and from bulk action this time you have to select activate and click on apply okay guys so all our plugins have been successfully activated okay now it's time to install the main plugin which is dokan the name of the plugin is dokan this is the plugin which is used to convert the website or to make a website a multi-vendor website okay so for that open a new tab type in blogdo.com slash dokan and press enter obviously okay guys when you do so you will be redirected to this particular page okay and you have different options for example one site five site unlimited sites so this is 199 around 200 dollars if you want to use this on one site then go ahead and click on this purchase this theme and install and download this plugin and then we can proceed further don't see the amount my friends don't see 200 dollars that is frankly speaking not too much uh, because the amount the quality and the features you're getting with this plugin is just amazing you know and it's re it's really not possible to create a multi-vendor website without this plugin 
so you have to purchase this okay so i would recommend to go with this one uh, the one site uh, 200 dollars okay just click on this purchase this plan and again i have already purchased and uh, downloaded this uh, theme uh, this plugin so i won't be doing that again okay so for that again come back over here to your dashboard hover plugins and click on add new now click on over here upload plugin now choose file and this is the file okay now click on open now click on install now click on activate plugin okay it says uh, you need the core plugin to make it functional so just click on install now okay guys now whenever your wordpress asks for any update uh, then you have to do you have to update that plugin or theme that is more recommendable okay so just click on this run the updater you might not see this but i am getting this option so i will update my data okay okay it says woocommerce data update complete fine thank you now again come back back to your dashboard and let's see what we have to do next so we have the theme we have installed the theme we have installed and activated the plugin now what we have to do we have to first delete all the extra themes uh, which we don't need so how our appearances over here and click on themes okay so this is the theme which we are using electro we don't need all these themes so just click on over here and click on delete again same thing for this delete okay now we should have only one theme over here now let's start doing the woocommerce setting woocommerce is the main plugin which will make your website an e-commerce website okay so for that come back over here you will see woocommerce hover woocommerce and select settings okay so this is the first option the general option okay here it will ask you for base location where your store or your business is based okay then you here select this option and you have to type in your state name okay for example i stay in mumbai which is in maharashtra state so i will type in maharashtra and i'll get this option okay india maharashtra select that one now it asks it will ask you selling locations to to what all countries or to which all countries do you sell so i am basically planning to sell only in india so i'll select this and i'll select sell to specific countries and then choose that countries or if you are planning to sell in two three countries then select all those countries over here so i'm planning to sell only in india so i'll select india if you're planning to sell in more than one country then you can also select some different country for example pakistan which is the nearest country our neighbor country so i can also select that if i want okay now come down and you see this shipping location ship to all countries you sell to that is fine because we are shipping to all the countries we are selling to so we are selling in india so we are also shipping in this particular country okay now enable taxes and tax calculation make this make sure this is tick marked then we have store wide notice not necessary now we have to uh, select the currency over here okay for example if you want to go with indian rupees then type in indian rupee you'll get this option and select that you you'll get all the options over there now it is currency position and you can also see a demo over here it starts from left dollar 99.99 you have different types for example if you want to put this dollar sign at the right side you can all select this one you can select any one of this i'm selecting the default one now here is the number of dec decimals so as you can see here it is 99.99 so we have two de two decimals so it is two selected over here if you want to increase or decrease anything from here you can select that and after you've done all the changes just click on save changes over here okay this was the general setting now click on products over here 
okay so this is basically settings related to your products so weight unit which unit do you prefer for your product so i am selecting grams uh, basically if you, uh, in india we uh, we prefer grams if you're in uh, america or some different country i i think you uh, b basically they prefer the pound and so on so you can select that from here now dimension unit you can select meter millimeter centimeter centimeter is selected by me now we have different options like enable reviews, enable product reviews. Yeah, we want users to you know provide reviews on the product. So we have tick mark this thing. So verified owner label on customer review. This is very important. If you uh, see, sometimes it happens that you know someone who hasn't purchased the product comes and provides a negative or a pos positive pr uh, review although they have not even purchased the product so this is very important you know someone when uh, when anyone goes and see the reviews a uh, verified owner will be there besides their name so we can say okay fine this is a genuine review okay and then the third option is review can only be left by verified owners uh, not preferable you know because we want others also to provide a review or if you want only the those who have purchased the product to make a review you can tick mark this thing it, it's all up to you enable star rating and so on obviously we want to do that so just click on save changes okay now click on tags over here now this is very important you know you have to see all the taxation option and so on first option is uh, whether you'll be entering the price uh, uh, inclusive or exclusive of tax i'll select exclusive of tax so you know my product the price which is shown on my website for example let's say this product this product it does not this price does not include taxes okay so the taxes will come when the person is going to check out okay so make sure it is exclusive of tax okay now you can select this tax calculate based on which address the shipping address billing address whichever address you want then we have shipping class uh, tax class okay you have i have created different class over here i'll show you how to create different classes okay for example in india we have gst so i will create gst over here so just click on over here and type in gst okay then we have dis uh, display prices in the shop excluding tax yes because we are displaying this price excluding of tax okay now may everything is fine just click on save changes okay guys when you put in gst over here you'll, you'll get one extra column over here gst rates so now what we have to do is click on this gst rates here we'll set all the uh, taxation options okay now what you have to do just click on insert row and if you guys are from india you know that we are following two rates a state rate and a central rate so basically a person is paying two taxes on one particular product so i'll teach you how to do that a setting in over here you can you know see how, what what tax rate is uh, applied in your country on your product and you can make these changes accordingly first one is a country code so basically if you're from united states then you will put us i'm from india so i'll put in this is the country code for india and as you can see when i put in i get this option india okay now state code i won't put anything over here because when i put india and i don't put state and city then basically it says that this rate will be applied and to entire india okay so i want to do that because this is the central tax okay now i have to choose the rate what is the rate tax rate for example i'll select 12 over here and tax name i'll put cgst which is central good services tax whatever it is and just untick this thing okay so basically this is the central tax now we'll do the state tax so click on insert row and again i'll put in india i n okay now for example i want to create a state tax for maharashtra then i'll type in mh which stands for maharashtra and i'll leave all these things blank postal code and city and everything will be blank because i want uh, anything that comes or any place that comes under maharashtra i want that this uh, rate to be applied on that so i i'll again i'll put 12 percent and here i'll put sgst state tax okay and i'll untick this thing now click on save changes 
Okay guys, so this is how you do the tax settings. Now let's come to shipping. Okay, now here we have to create different shipping zones and shipping classes. Okay, so just click on add shipping zone. Now we have to uh, type in the zone name. So basically I'm selling only in India. So I'll be entering a shipping class and shipping zone for India. So I'll name this thing as India. You can name it anything you want. Okay. Now I'll select the region. So I am selecting whole of India. Here is the option. Okay. Now click on save changes. Now click on add shipping method. Now we have to add a shipping method. Okay. Now, for example, if you want to charge a flat amount, for example, if I want to charge $2 and for example, anyone uh, purchasing from anywhere in India, I want to charge them $2 shipping cost. So I'll select flat rate and click on add shipping method. Now I'll click on this edit over here. Now here you have flat rate taxable or not taxable and what is the cost. So I'll put in $2. Okay. Now click on save changes. Now let's come back to this shipping options. Okay. Enable the shipping calculator on the card page. Very important. So make sure this is a tick mark. Now shipping classes. Okay, now suppose, okay, fine. I am charging $2 on different products, but many a times you are selling different kind of product. For example, for mobile phones, it is fine. $2 will be fine for uh, shipping cost. But when someone is purchasing a refrigerator or a television set, then obviously $2 won't be that shipping cost for that one because those are bulky products and the shipping cost for that also will be higher. Okay, so we will create different classes for different products. For example, for the, those kind of product, we will create a new shipping class. So just click on add shipping class from here and you can name it anything. For example, I am naming it as bulky products or you can just put in bulky. And in the description, you can put something, any description, for example, uh, over 10 kgs, okay, over 10 kgs. So any product which is over 10 kg, I'll apply this class on that product. Now click on uh, save shipping classes. Now again, come back to shipping zones. Okay, now again, click on edit over here. Okay, now again, now again, click on this edit. Okay, now we have this new class option, bulky shipping cost. Uh, okay, so here you can, for example, for this kind of product, I want to charge $5. So I'll put in five over here. Okay, now click on save changes. But before that, there is another option. For example, Suppose, uh, you know, when you do this setting, there will be one problem. If a person purchases 10 cell phone, uh, still he'll, he'll be charged only $2, but we don't want that. We want $2 per quantity. Okay. So for that, there is a code. Just uh, type in two, give a space, put this sign, asterisk sign, and in this bracket, type in quantity, QTY. Okay. So this is the code. Uh, the amount which you want to charge then a space then this asterisk sign and this uh, then under this square brackets type in qty so basically this will say that quantity into this rest so if they are purchasing two product uh, they'll be charged four dollars two into two okay and similarly here also we'll do the same thing okay fine so this is very important uh, so that you don't have uh, don't get any errors over there now click on save changes okay guys so our, uh, shipping settings are done now click on checkout now we have different options for example enable the use of coupons obviously we want to do that calculate coupons discount sequentially if you want to do that just click on uh, tick mark that or just leave that now here we have cart page checkout page You'll have these pages already selected over here, the cart page and the checkout page. Okay. All these things will be already selected. And just leave everything. Everything will be fine. Just click on save changes. Okay. Now suppose you want to uh, enable or, you know, provide a cash on delivery option. Then click, then just click on this cash on delivery. 
and tick mark this enable cash on delivery and click on save changes so when the person is now when the now when the person will uh, check out he'll get cash on delivery option and if you want to provide paypal option just click on paypal okay enable paypal standard put in your paypal email address okay now come down and here you have to enter your username password and api signature which i have already entered and where will you get that for example open a new tab and open paypal.com click on login login to your paypal account okay scroll down at the left hand side you will see this seller preferences just click on that and here you have api access okay so beside that there is a button which says update just click on that and here you will get another option which says view api signature again click on that okay guys so they will verify who is checking this option so you can receive an email uh, an sms or a call okay and you can select your number and just click on continue so i'll get an sms a code and i'll have to enter the, that code over here okay so i got that number now click on continue okay now here you have all the three options api username password and signature just click on show you'll see your username copy that username from your paste it over here similarly copy the password and signature from here and paste it over here once you have done that just click on save changes okay now click on accounts over here okay so everything over here is fine okay now click on e e emails and make sure you have your email address on all the three options all the three top options so basically when there is a new order or a cancelled order failed order whatever you will be getting an email address and e um, an email on this particular email address okay so these settings are very important settings okay okay guys before proceeding further let me clear one thing come back to the checkout option over here and here if you're not getting these pages uh, under cart page if you don't see any page which is cart page or under checkout page if there is no checkout page don't worry uh, it happens sometimes what you can do is uh, click on over here how are you under pages and click on add new page okay and you can just create a new page uh, and name it as cart and here there is a page which uh, which is the WooCommerce shortcode page. If you search on Google, you will get this page WooCommerce shortcodes. And scroll down here, you will see this code show the cart page. And just copy this uh, shortcode from here and paste on this page. Okay, so just create a new page, name it as cart and paste this code and click on publish i won't do that because i already have my card page but suppose you don't see your card page under checkout where you have to select those pages then this is how you do that and also for checkout page just you know cre uh, create a new page called checkout page and enter this coupon code over there okay guys so don't worry if you don't see those pages and for my account page also this is the uh, short code for that okay so you just have to create a new page and enter this short code over there okay if you don't see those pages option on the checkout uh, option over there okay fine okay so i won't be doing this I, i'll just move this thing into trash because i already have a cart page okay guys so with this we have completed the woocommerce setting now let's select the dokan setting so how are dokan and click on settings okay guys, so first one is the general setting the first option is admin area access make sure this is tick mark what does this do is disables the vendor and customer from accessing the 
WordPress admin dashboard. This is the page, uh, the page which we are on right now, the WP admin dashboard page. So basically we don't want the customers or the vendors to visit this page because they don't need to visit this page because as I showed you in the demo website, you know, they are getting a front end, a front dashboard. So they don't need to visit this page. And this is uh, also dangerous in you know, it. They can, if they visit this page, it will be dangerous for you. So make sure this is tick marked. And the second one is vendor store URL. So this is how your URL will look like. It will show your, your domain name slash store slash seller name. Okay. If you want to change this store to vendor or to seller, then you can do that, do that if you wish. Okay. Then extra fee receipt. Okay, basically what is this extra fee receipt? We have two options, vendor and admin. Make sure vendor is selected. It says that the extra fee receipt, for example, ex uh, shipping cost and uh, all the extra cost, who should pay those costs? So we are selecting vendor. Vendor will be paying those shipping costs and so on. Okay, if you select admin, then you will have to pay, uh, pay those uh, costs. Okay, then here it is show map on store page. Make sure it is not selected. Why? we are not selecting this thing see we don't want the customer to know the exact address of the uh, seller the vendor on our website if they know the address of the vendor why would they come to your website and per make a purchase okay so basically we are the mediator between the customer and the seller so we don't want uh, the customer to directly contact the seller okay so that's why we are disabling the map okay then here it, it says show contact form on store page. Also make sure this is also unticked because we don't want the seller to contact the customer or the cost customer to contact the seller. Then here it is uh, uh, the next option is product mail notification. Make sure this is tick mark because you know whenever a new product is added by the seller You will get a notification that the seller has added a new product and that product will be under pending uh, Status and you will go through that product and if you see everything is fine, then you can just publish that product. Okay Then this is banner width and height. This is fine. Everything is fine. Just click on save changes Now come to uh, selling options the first option is allow newly registered vendors to add products. What does this mean? See, whenever a new register, a new vendor, you know, signs up for your website as a seller, they won't be allowed. If you check this, if you uncheck this thing, they won't be allowed to add new product unless and until you as an admin and owner of the website mark uh, those sellers as legitimate and you know you provide access to those guys okay so if you want any new seller to come and start selling products then you can tick mark this but i would recommend just untick this thing because first you will manually accept them as the seller and then they will be able to add new products okay the second one is vendor commission it is set to 90 percent make sure uh, keep this as 90 percent what does this mean Suppose a vendor is selling a product for $100 and uh, there is a purchase made by the customer for that $100. So the vendor or the seller will be getting 90% of that uh, product, 90% price of that product. And you will be getting the rest 10% as commission because you are doing, you are creating this website and you are doing all this stuff. Okay. If you want to change these percentages, you can do so. Order status change vendor can update order status. It is all up to you. If you tick mark this thing, then the vendor can change the order status from processing to completed. Or if you untick this thing, then you as the admin will have to change the order status for the product. Okay. Disable product pop up. This is not so important. Flat view. Fine. Everything is fine over here. Rest. Everything is fine. This is important. New product status. So whenever a new seller will add a new product, you have some options published. If you select publish, whenever a new seller will uh, add a new product, it will uh, you know automatically get published. But when you select pending review, 
you will get uh, that product will be rev under review until you publish that product okay so a new product uh, has been added by the seller but that is not live on your website you get an option uh, you go to your dashboard and you see okay fine all the images are there all the categories selected all the different options are perfectly there so then you can publish that product okay so this is also very important after doing all these changes just click on save changes okay now click on withdraw options now we have selected the uh, two different options paypal and bank transfer what is this withdraw options basically whenever the uh, person uh, the seller wants to withdraw money we are getting two options he can withdraw through pay paypal and we can also provide uh, the money through bank transfer then here it is the minimum withdrawal limit it is set to 100 so basically when the seller reaches this uh, minimum threshold of hundred dollars then he is uh, eligible for the payment or else if he has uh, uh, earned around ninety dollars and if you want to if he wants to withdraw he won't be able to withdraw that amount because the minimum amount is hundred dollars okay order status for withdraw what should be the status order uh, or status for the product uh so that he can withdraw the money it is selected to completed which says if the order is completed only then the uh seller will get paid for that particular product if the order is under processing or under hold he won't get paid for that and that does make sense okay so make sure completed is selected then here it is withdrawn threshold okay so basically uh, what does this mean uh, after a person or the seller reaches the hundred dollars of minimum amount then after seven days of reaching hundred dollars he can withdraw this amount okay so make sure it is seven or you can increase or decrease the days from here and click on save changes now click on paste settings and here make sure under dashboard dashboard is selected and under my orders my orders is selected okay click on save changes now click on appearances and this is uh, uh, the first one is uh, by default selected this is how the banner for the seller will look like you can select any banner of your choice i am selecting the default one okay now again click on save changes so we have done two important the most important settings the woocommerce and the token settings now let's see the vendor guide how a vendor will you know create a new account how he will go about uh, creating new product and so on which is very important so let's open our website in from a new browser so that we can see from a vendor's perspective how and what steps will he be uh, taking to create different accounts or to create uh, you know different products okay so let's open our website so for example let's copy our website url from here and uh, open a new browser paste it over here okay first let's see all the changes that we have done on our website so this is how our website looks at present now let's refresh and see what all the changes have taken place okay as you can see this is how our website looks like right now now what we have to do we have to add these different options for example here you'll see seller dashboard then here we have different menus over here so let's create these two menus this seller dashboard and this the top left and top right menus okay so come back to your dashboard how are appearances you will see this menus click on menus now suppose we want to add this menu first the top left menu so what we can we can name this thing anything for example i am naming it as top left okay now click on create menu and select top bar left from here okay now what we have to do we have to add this thing okay so let's do that you can do just select this dashboard and click on add to menus and we have we have to uh, change the navigation uh, label for example it says seller dashboard okay so let's make this as seller dashboard okay now click on save menu 
okay so basically if the seller is logged in then he will be redirected to the dashboard but if uh, there is a new seller and he is clicking on seller dashboard he won't see the dashboard obviously because he has not signed up for the website but he'll be redirected to the my account page wherein he ha he will have to create a new account okay which is very important now let's create this menu again come back to this menu click on over here create a new menu now let's name this as top right okay click on create menu and let's see what all different pages we have over here we have start selling track your orders okay shop and my account whatever you have we have over here so let's see all the pages the first one is dashboard we have my account then we had shop page okay then shop page okay let's see all the pages over here dashboard my account shop page okay click on add to menus okay so dashboard it is not dashboard it says start selling over here okay so let's rename this as start selling okay basically basically this is the dashboard page but as i said when a new user will click on this he will be redirected to the my account page wherein he will have to create a new account and then he can start selling okay then we have the shop page my account page and so on now as you can see we have different icons over here okay so how to put that again come back over here and first let's select this one top bar left and uh just expand this and here here you will see icon class so from where will you get icon class open a new tab and type in font awesome okay dot com dot io i guess font awesome dot io okay now what we have to do we have to go over here icons and click on all icons scroll down now let's search for this one this is the user icon okay you can search all these icons over here you can also search from here for example let me put in user over here okay as you can see when i put user i get different options user user dash dash so on so come back over here uh, and type in fa space fa dash user okay click on save menu Now come back to your website, refresh and let's see whether all the changes are taking place or not. As you can see, we have seller dashboard over here. We have start selling and with this we have a, a icon, user icon. Now the next one is shop. Okay, so let's search for shop or something similar to that. We have shopping basket, we have shopping bag, shopping cart. So you can use any you know icon from here for example let's use this shopping bag icon so it is shopping dash bag so what we have to do we have to first type sa space fa dash shopping bag shopping dash bag okay then for my account again we have the uh, user icon okay so we'll do the same thing fa fa dash user click on save menu Now let's come back to your website and refresh and we should see those changes over here and as you can see we are seeing all the changes over here okay fine. So now the top left and the top right menu are completed successfully. Now let's start and see how a seller will be able to start selling on our website okay. Okay for that let's open our website in a new browser so that we can you know see how a seller will be able to do all these things. So I am opening my website uh, in a new browser and let's refresh this website to see all the changes. Okay, now as you can see we have this uh, menus over here. Now let's click on start selling. Okay, as you can see now we have all the options, the login, register and all uh, options. Now I have this thing over here, I am a vendor so I'll select that. Okay, so the first option is an email address. So let me put in an email address. Okay, fine. Now second option is to select a password. So just put in any password of your choice. First name, Nayar, 
last name shake store name let me uh, put n tech and for now your tech okay so it says it is available so this is how my store or my seller url will look like the domain name slash store slash n tech okay now put in any phone number i'm putting this thing one two three four five six seven now make sure i am a vendor is selected now click on register okay if you when you register you will get this option over here click on let's go okay store product per, per page how many products should be shown per page so it is select uh, 10 let's keep that as 10 street name of this street let's put it as street street 2 street 2 city mumbai postal code you can put any postal code then you have to select the country i'm obviously selecting india state select in your state maharashtra okay click on continue email address now you have to put in your bank uh, information over here because when you, if you select bank transfer then you will uh, will need all those bank information okay so make sure you put all in uh, your information over here now click on continue okay so it says your store is ready go to your store dashboard so click on that okay here it says error your account is not enabled for selling if you remember when we were doing those dokan settings we got these options okay now first what we have to do we have to enable this seller so let's come back to the website over here this is the different browser obviously and here we have the access to this dashboard and when you hover this dokan and uh, you will get these options all vendors so just click on that and as you can see you get this option now yes triple seven this is the account which is created and tech okay so it is inactive now we can activate this account from here so just click on this activate selling now again let's come back to the different browser okay and now let's refresh and this thing should be gone because we have activated the thing from the main website the admin website okay Okay guys, now as you can see the that error is gone and now it says start with adding a banner to gain profile progress. Okay, so first let's start first. Let's see how our profile looks like. So just open this thing in a new tab. Okay, as you can see here is the icon. We don't have any banner image and here's some details and we don't have any products either. Okay. So come back over here under dashboard and click on this uh, edit account. Okay, here you can change your password and so on your name, last name, email address. Okay, but we want to change this thing. We want to add a, you know, banner and image and so on. So for that, come back and click on this settings. okay now here we get all those options upload a banner so let's upload a banner from here select image okay so all the images which i have used in my demo website i have uh, this all uh, all those things over here and i'll give you a link you'll see a link in the video description below you'll get all those these images all the codes uh, whatever i have used in my website in my demo website you will get all those things from that link okay so make sure you click on that link now let us see where is that image okay this is the image banner 7 click on open click on select and crop okay let's select the crop section okay now click on crop image okay now we have the banner now let's select a profile picture click on upload photo again upload files select files and this is the profile picture click on open okay select and crop okay it will crop this image click on crop image we have this you can uh, change your store name and all those information street name and so on from here now click on update settings okay so all our settings have been updated now let's come back to the dashboard from here okay we don't see anything over here okay now let's see how to add a new product from a sellers or a vendors perspective so 
click on all, over your products now we have this option add a new product just click on that now let's come back to the demo website and see let's add this product okay so let's copy the this thing the title okay now this here your title will come let's see the price the price is 79 which is discounted price okay so the original price is 99 and the discounted price is 79 now we have to upload a product cover image okay this is the product cover image okay fine so we have to upload this image click on upload from your choose file and under products you will see all those images which i have used okay here is the uh, image which i have used so just select this one and click on open now click on set featured image now you can also add few more images for example let's see the demo website here you have few more images as gallery images so we can also add that just click on this plus button upload files select files now let's select these three images and click on open now click on add to gallery so we also have three gallery images and we have few categories over here so this comes under category okay computer and accessories and if this is not the category then you know we have we can create different categories from the main website and we can add those categories over here okay i'll show you in a moment okay scroll down and you can you have to enter short description about this product this is the short description okay this is the product short description so let's copy this thing come back over here and paste in over here now click on create product okay now let me show you how to put in different uh, categories okay so come back to the main website where you have the demo uh, with the dashboard okay now under woocommerce you'll see under products you will see these categories so just click on categories and from here you can create different categories for example this was game console which will which will come under ga uh, gaming category something okay so just create a new category gaming okay and click on add new category now under gaming comes game console okay so just type in game console okay now from parent category select gaming okay and click on add new category so basically ga game console comes under gaming now again come back to your refresh the website now the seller will get more options okay so make sure you have to create all those categories by yourself okay now when we click when we see over here let's okay here is the category option when we see we have more options here is the gaming game console so let's select game console okay here is the short description then the here is the long description which is the long description let's come back to the demo website again let's scroll down and when we click on this description this is the long description okay so let's copy this thing just copy it and paste it over here okay so this is the product long description then we have more options like sku stock keeping unit basically it is the warehouse thing you know so let's add with wh1 okay in stock or it is out of stock so we will say this product is in stock okay and when you click on enable product stock management here when you see in the demo website you have 14 in stock so this is how it will come on the website when you click on this enable stock management okay now put in quantity 14 or 15 whatever you want to do now here is the option which says allow back orders it is at present uh, to do not allow you can also click on allow okay basically what is back orders suppose your product is out of stock you have sold the whole quantity which is 14 we have set that to 14 now the product is out of stock but still we can allow the customer to place order okay so that is called back orders 
okay then we have this shipping and tax options we can uh, select the weight of the product for example 200 grams length for example 10 centimeter width for example 4 centimeter height for example 10 centimeter okay then we have shipping classes suppose it comes under bulky class then we can select bulky class or obviously you can create different classes okay if no classes is selected the basic thing which we set to two dollars that will be applied for example no shipping class is selected then those two dollar which we created if you remember that will be applied okay whether this product is taxable or not so you can select none if this product is not taxable but this is taxable obviously mobile phones so click on taxable and from here you have to select gst okay the tax class will be gst now we have attributes this is not for simple product because this is a simple product for example here if you see product type is simple and attributes and so on are for variable products which will create now after this product this is just a simple product so at present it is pending okay visibility is fine now click on save product okay so this is how your seller will add a simple product now again after saving all these changes still it says pending review because this product is added by the seller but it is not live on the website okay it is not published you as the admin will have to go through the uh, product and see whether everything is fine and if you are satisfied you can publish this product okay so let's do that come back to the main website come back to the dashboard and under products here you'll see click on all products and here is the game console as you can see and uh, if you see uh, this the author name is also given over here okay now what you can do here it will uh, show pending so this is pending we haven't uh, actually made this thing as published so just click on edit over here okay if you want to make some changes if you think you know that seller did some mistake then you can make some changes by yourself also from here you can change the category image whatever you want you can add some tags by yourself for example let's add a new tag called game so we have added a tag so you can also do some changes if you want and if you're satisfied with this product just click on publish now this product will be live on your website okay now again come back to the seller dashboard here it says pending review now let's refresh this website and as you can see now it says online so the product is now online okay so this is how you create a product in a multi-vendor website this is how a user or a seller will be creating a product okay and suppose if he wants to create a variable product what is a variable product see variable product is basically for example you take an iPhone you have iPhone 64 GB you have iPhone 32 GB so those are different variable products you have two varieties so that is a variable product so to create a variable product everything is same except for a few steps for example instead of product type you have to select variable okay now you can select different category for uh, if you want okay then coming down everything rest will be fine except this thing now we have the custom attribute you'll click on add attribute okay now we can name this attribute for example we can name it as memory this is game console obviously you will not have this memory options but i'm just uh, saying uh, showing you how to add a variable product for example we can put 32 gb okay then put this icon the pipe icon okay now put 64 gb okay so basically now we have two different values and make sure this is tick marked use for variations over here okay now click on save attributes okay as you can see when we clicked on save attributes now we are getting this variation options okay so just click on that and select this uh, option create variation from all attributes and click on go okay click on ok ok now as you can see we have two different options 32 GB 64 GB now you can expand this thing from here 
okay now you can change the price for example for 32 gb this is the 32 gb variation uh, suppose we are setting this to hundred dollars okay and now okay now just expand this one 64 gb and we can set this price to around 150 dollars whatever you want okay this is just for the sake of demonstration now what you can do is just click on save product okay it says successfully the product has been saved successfully now you can view this product let's view this product in a new tab okay guys so this is how your product will look like okay we have here we have the option memory then we have two options 32 gb when we select 32 gb the price changes when we select 64 gb the price changes okay so this is how you create uh, this kind of product okay so this is how the seller will be creating different products whether it be simple product or variable product okay so again let's come back to the seller dashboard so we saw the uh, products now let's see orders click on orders at present it says there is no order founds so let's come back to our website over here okay refresh this website now let's place an order and see how it happens so this is the product we created let's click on this product okay now let's click on add uh, just select anything 32 gb click on add to cart okay it says has been added to cart now click on view cart over here so we have this product we have two different products in our cart let's delete this one we want only this one let's increase this quantity to six okay now click on proceed to checkout now let's fill in some different informations okay i think all the informations are auto automatically filled okay now let's select cash on delivery okay here you'll see this flat rate regular shipping different options and here you also see the gst options you know the gst is applied on this the tax which we created the tax this is applied over here so we are getting all the information the product price is hundred dollars subtotal is hundred dollars okay then the gst and everything is placed over here now just click on place order okay so it says order received order number and everything you have all this information over here okay from a customer's point of view you have your billing information shipping information your order number and product what was the product and so on now let's come back over here on the seller dashboard and refresh this page the orders page and now as you can see we have an order okay which is order number 49 this is the order okay so on and so forth now we can see this order so just click on this icon okay here you can see his email address his phone number his customer ip and so on and he, we also see his billing address so this is the address on which will be or the seller will be uh, providing the product okay so he'll use this product and he can also add a note okay these are the two different email address which he got the uh, the customer got okay now we can suppose when we when we when when we have you know shipped this product when we have uh, per, uh, shipped this product to the customer we can add a note and from here select customer note and click on add note so he will get that um, email address that his product is has been shipped okay so that is how you do now let's come back to the orders so suppose once the pro the customer has got the product what you can do is just click on this button okay now the order status has changed to completed you have to click on that button only when the customer has received the product okay now let's come to the coupons at present there are no coupons found so let's add a new coupon okay so let's give it a title for example okay discount 10 so 10 percent okay let's add a description get 10 percent off okay now product discount or product percentage discount so we are giving 10 percent discount so we are will select product percentage discount and under amount type in 10 percentage okay 
and you can restrict certain emails uh, uh, from using this uh, this coupon okay you can set an expiry date for this coupon okay you can select a minimum amount for example the person has to make a minimum of hundred dollars purchase only then he will get this 10 percent discount if he uses this coupon code and you can select this coupon code only for certain products okay so this is very important and this is also very important exclude sales item make sure this is tick marked because suppose we are giving uh, the product is already on sales so we don't want the user or the customer to use this coupon code on this product which is already on sale and get more discount okay so make sure this is check mark and after that click on create coupon okay it says please specify any product we haven't specified any product so just click on that and let's select this product and click on create coupon okay so coupon has been saved successfully now let's go to reports as you can see we have uh, done a sales of around a hundred hundred dollars and the with the average daily sales of three dollars okay we can see sales by day top selling top earning and all these things now click on reviews we haven't got any review yet so we won't see anything over here now let's see the withdrawn option okay it says current balance is zero minimum withdrawn amount is hundred dollars we have withdrawn threshold is seven days okay so we cannot withdraw the money right now so let's go to settings and we saw the settings options uh, earlier while we were seeing the demo website we can change the payment option and so on okay guys so this is how a seller will be using your website for creating a new account for creating a product for seeing uh, different reviews for seeing or changing the order status for seeing uh, for seeing the billing address of the customer and so on so this is very 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 important okay this was the most important part of the tutorial now let's start creating the website the front end website for example let's see how our website looks like right now let's go to the home page okay guys so this is how our website looks like right now we have made this website a multi vendor website but we haven't actually created the website so let's start doing that okay for that let's come back to our website okay now come back to the dashboard now first we have to create some categories for example let's see the demo website as you can see this is the demo website and we have some categories over here at this side at the left hand side and when we hover any category we can see this looks really amazing you know this is uh, when uh, all the categories we see an image and we see all these things written over here so this is just an amazing website okay so let's start creating these categories first okay so come back to your dashboard how our products and under products you'll see these categories click on that now let's see it is camera uh, cameras audios and video so let's create the first one cameras and audios let's make cameras and audios leave everything as blank okay and click on add new category okay that is added now next one is car motorbikes and industrial so just car and motorbikes okay click on add new category the next category is computer and accessories okay i'll put just computer just to save time i don't wanna keep on typing everything click on add new category then we have mobiles and tablets okay add new category then we have movies tv and watches okay movies tvs watches okay 
now click on add new category so we have successfully created all the categories now it's time to create this jumbotron this is called jumbotron when we hover this particular category you see you know this thing uh this whole thing over here you know we have some different first few subcategories under camera audios and videos we have two subcategories then we also have this image over here so let's start creating that for that come back to your website here you have static content hover that and click on add new okay so first one is cameras so let's name this as cameras okay okay let's publish this thing because first we have to enable visual builder for that so for that scroll down over here here you'll see visual composer where it is visual composer click on role manager under visual composer okay and under post type here at present it is selected pages only select this select custom and now select everything post product and static block and click on save changes okay now again come back to static content okay this is the one we created cameras click on edit now as you can see we get this option visual composer just click on back and editor okay now click on add element and search for image single image select this one and let's see what image we have under cameras this is the image okay all these images are there uh, you uh, as I said you you'll you'll see a link in the video description go to that link you'll f uh, find all these images okay so just select this image from your click on select file now let's see add blocks or uh, this which was the image okay departmental menu this is the image okay select this camera click on open click on set image okay now click on save changes now click on this pencil button to edit the row now scroll down to the bottom and last option you will see extra class name now over there put in bg dash y a double m dash content okay so make sure you put this exact thing bg dash y a double m dash content c o n t e n t now click on save changes okay now what we have to do we have to add these things these different options over here okay so for that again come back over here click on this plus button now to add an element and now select this text block okay now we have to add these things over here now let me first open my website blogtoot.com and let me show you the link which i am always talking about i said you there is a link in the video description where you'll all wherein you know you will see you'll find all the images codes and everything so this is the link when you will click on that link you will be redirected to this particular link okay so when you you have this theme you have images over here so when you click on this images download you'll get a file there everything is present the codes and everything which i have used the images everything which i have used uh, on this demo website okay so again come back over here and let's me show you that file okay so this is the css file here there is a code this file is also present in that folder it says static block just select this much okay click on copy this thing come back to your website over here and under text block delete everything and paste this thing now click on save changes and as you can see over here we have two different columns this is the first column this is the second column so we have to add another column okay and obviously here just edit and you can make all you can edit all the thing for example here it is audio and video you can change this title you can put in your own title here you have all audio and video okay for example here you see all audio and video everything so you can change those thing you can put in your own title it's all up to you now click on save changes and here as you see we have two columns as i said now we have to make this thing as two columns so how are you 
the second option which says half plus half just click on that so now we have two different columns now click on this plus button to add an element in the next column and again search for text block select this thing okay now again paste that code but we don't want this many thing over here we want only two three things so what i'll do i'll delete rest of this thing and click on save changes okay now click on update okay guys so similarly you can create for all these different menus uh, we have created for cameras and so on and you can create for all these different menus so now i'll pause this video because i don't want to waste your time and my time creating the same things again and again okay so you know how to create this now and you can create as many different uh, menus status block as you want okay so let's see uh, see you guys after a short interval okay guys as you can see i have created all these static contents over here okay so once you do so now it's time to create this menu and put all these things over here okay fine so let's come back to your dashboard hover appearances and click on menus okay now we need to create a new menu so obviously click on create a new menu and let's name this as departments okay now click on create menu okay the first thing which you need to make sure is that click on this all departments menu okay now it's time to add all these things over here so for that uh, you'll see everything over here in the under categories click on view all okay we haven't okay no this is not the categories we want we want product categories okay so select these options over here and select product categories because we have created some product categories also so click on view all and select these categories computer and accessories okay car and gaming and so on whatever we did okay gaming was not there i think mobile tvs watches uh, now click on add to menus okay but if you see uh, above all these things we have three more options over here value of the day top 100 offers new arrivals so let's add those things also click on custom links over here and just put in hashtag sign for now and the thing is value of the day in the link text type in value of the day okay now click on add to menu basically instead of this uh, hashtag sign over here you have to put in the url where you want your users to go when they click on value of the day okay so this is how that is that is what it wants and now just drag this thing to the top and also highlight this and i can class okay we want css class we are not getting the css class options over here so again click on this screen options and select this css classes again come back now as you can see we have new option which says css classes under that type in highlight okay now similarly create two different uh, menus top 100 offers and new arrivals so put in asterisk sign top 100 offers okay new arrivals click on add to menu and bring these things uh, both the menus to the top okay and again expand this thing and under css classes put in highlight okay why are we putting highlight over there because you know as you can see these three things are different they are bold in so that is the css class that will make all these things all these three menus bold okay fine now if you if you see under my cameras and audios uh, we have different options over here okay so let's put that thing also okay now as you can see under cameras and options we have this static block which we created so let's add that so under cameras and options go to status block from here okay we don't have that option also so again go to screen options and here it is static content blocks take this thing 
okay now we should have this here it is so first is cameras so select this cameras and click on add to menu here it is now drag this thing and make this thing under cameras and audios now cars so add this thing over again and drag this thing under cars now we have watches and eyewear it will be under watches then we have uh, tv and audio which will be under tvs okay then we have mobiles and tablets uh, which will be under mobiles over here okay then we have uh, cameras and audio and video so it will be under cameras where is cameras let's see here it is okay we have already added that i think it was not needed just remove this thing extra one okay then we have computer and accessories computer and accessories will come under computer and accessories okay then we have movies and so on so just oh okay oh it will come under movies okay now after this the work is not done yet now what we have to do you have to select this top one the category one open this thing and under css classes type in y a double m dash t f w okay for all the things so just copy this it is y a double m dash t f w now under all the categories put in this thing okay mm, okay fine okay guys so i think it is fine and now just click on save menu and i hope everything should be fine now come back to your website refresh the website and let's see the changes okay now click on over here okay it is not getting clicked okay do one thing select this thing also department menu and now click on save menu again come back to your website refresh the website now again come okay click over here now as you can see everything looks fine everything is awesome we are not getting this thing because we have to change the header as you can see the header over here is totally different whereas the header over here is different okay so let's change the header come back to your dashboard here you'll see electro option over here under electro you'll see header just click on header okay now under header style it is selected header volume uh, version one select the header version one okay now click on save changes and there are different changes which you can do over here for example support and these things over here for example if you see over here if there is any support and uh, all these things uh, which we had in the second one if you want to change all these things make changes over here okay your number your this and all those things will be changed from here now click on save changes again come back to your website refresh and we should see the changes now okay as you can see the changes have taken place now what we have to do we have to create a home page and start making this slider and all these things okay so come back to your dashboard hover pages over here and click on add new now give any title for example let's give a title of home page okay now click on publish okay now come back to your website the main website click on customize now scroll down you'll see this static front page select that and select this one a static page and select the front page and select the home page which you have just created here it is okay now click on save and publish now click on this x button okay so now as you can see everything looks fine and similar to this website okay as you can see now most of the things look similar now what we have to do we have to create this thing the slider so let's do that so for that again come back to your dashboard 
scroll down here you'll see slider revolution just click on slider revolution now click on new slider okay make sure default slider is selected from your now you can name this slider anything for example we are naming it as slider 1 same thing for here slider 1 put the same thing okay now scroll down and select full width from here okay now we have to change all these things all these uh, uh, dimensions so for the first one it, it will be 1170 into 485 okay and for the second one first make this thing on custom grid size and change this thing also to 1170 into 490 okay or 485 same thing now the third one here it is okay again click on this and select 778 into 324 okay and this last one here select 680 into 320 sorry where it is okay here it is 680 into 320 now come uh, back over here and click on save changes now again come over here slider settings click on here okay scroll down we have to add some custom css okay so you'll see over here the top code this page is obviously these codes are available on my website so copy this thing come over here add this thing under custom css fine now scroll up here you'll see some different settings uh, the general setting and so on so click on layout and visual okay and select this thing show background image okay now we have to upload a background image as you can see here there is a background image to the slider so let's upload that click on upload files Okay, slider this is the background image click on insert fine now here make sure it is cover and here it is non repeat and here it is center center okay so this was for layout and visual setting now we have navigation settings okay where is it click on navigation click on enable arrows and click on enable bullets okay now again minimize this and click on save changes okay now click on over here slide editor now we'll start creating these slides different slides so let's first create this slide the first slide let's see what is the first slide this is the one okay let's scroll down okay if you see if you could see i don't know there is a line over here a colorful line blue color line so we have to keep everything under these two lines okay so the first thing is an image this watch image so let's add that click on add, add layer and select image okay click on upload files okay so this is the image we want select this click on open okay now click on insert okay so this image is way too big okay we want a smaller image so what you can do is we can just decrease the size of the image okay 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 fine so when you click on this image you have all these things different options you know height width and so on so what you can do is we can you know change these things so under height just make this 500 pixels okay now everything is fine okay the image is quite big you have to change those settings and make sure the image is under this line this colorful line so we have our image now let's see what we need okay uh, fine 
now it says the new standard okay where it is gone here it is the new standard okay so let's add that text first click on add layer click on text html and select this and type in your own text the new standard so, so the new is a different text and standard is a different text okay so just type in the new click on this ok button now we have to add some changes over here so as you can see here there are different options font size font font height so under font size make this thing as 66 pixels okay and under font height make this thing as 52 pixels and under bold make this thing 300 because we want a very thin uh, image okay now here is the color option as you can see here it is uh, something like gray color so select this color options i have my own code for that okay a custom code which is hash trick triple three e48 e48 e okay so this is the color which i have used just click on this tick mark okay now put this thing over here okay again let's see that image next one is standard okay so click on add a library okay let's do one thing just copy this thing so that you know we don't have to do most of the changes uh, most of the settings for those are same so just select this and click on this copy okay new thing will be copied now what we have to do we have just have to change the text so double click on that and change this text to standard okay now everything should be fine except for this uh, you know as you can see the height should be smaller so that both the thing uh, are aligned at the same thing okay so let's change this height to 55 okay now as you can see now both the thing look similar now we have to add another thing which is under favorable okay what it is under favorable smart watches okay okay this is annoying under favorable smart watches so let's add that again add layer text and type in your text fine now click on this button make this thing put this thing over here now again we have to change all the size and so on so the font size is 15 pixels font height is 22 which is fine and uh, this is 800 this is very bold as you can see in this this is very bold so this is 800 and then the color is same okay which was hash trick 333 e48 okay now click on this plus button okay now everything looks fine then we have from dollar 749 so let's add from first add a new layer text and type in from okay now this is a very thin thing a very small font so just font size will be 14 font height is 22 which is fine uh, this is 400 which is fine let's just add this thing a new color and we have to you know put a consistent color for all these things so i am putting all the same color again and again okay now bring this thing over here over here okay fine okay now we have where it is gone now we have dollar 749 okay let's add that dollar 749 okay now this is a very big and bold text so it will be 56 uh, pixels uh, font size font height will be 52 okay boldness will be font weight will be 700 and the color will be the same color obviously now just okay and bring this thing over here fine now this last thing is start buying it is a button okay so we can add a button from here click on add layer and from here select button 
okay you can change the color of the button background color anything yellow whatever color you want okay click on this button you can change the text and text color for example let's make the text color as black select any black from here click on save changes you can change the text also and now you can select the button so let's select this one okay let's bring this thing over here okay so we have successfully created this but this is not the end we have to add more things over here and let's bring everything closer so that you know we don't mess around with this thing everything closer to this image and over here fine the button fine okay so first let's save changes so that we don't miss any of our changes now we have to add animations and timing for example if you see you know when it changes the timing differs first this comes then the uh, text come and then at the last the button comes okay so the timing differs the animation are different okay let's do that okay let's come back the first thing is the image okay this is the image so here is the or you can just click on this image and this thing will get selected okay now we have different settings just click on this edit first frame start duration so when should this animation start and for how long the animation should be there okay so these are different settings so we are setting 500 milliseconds which means half a second it should start the image should come after half a second and the animation for uh, should be for 1500 seconds which is for one and a half second okay click on this okay now you can just leave this thing uh, as it is now select this thing the uh, the text the new text now you can also change the timing for this one so basically we want the new text this is uh, the this text to come after the image then we want this text so one after one this all text will be coming okay so for the new text we are setting timing just click on this edit it will come at 800 mega seconds uh, milliseconds and it will go for 300 milliseconds okay now the we have the other text which is the standard text so you can click on this standard okay and click on this edit okay now it will obviously start after the first text so it will start exactly at one second and it this animation will be for 300 milliseconds so click on ok then we have under favorable click on this click on the edit button it will start at 1.2 second which is 1200 uh, 1, milliseconds okay then we have from text click on edit and change the timing 1400 milliseconds okay then we have this text the dollar 749 text this will also start at the same time okay 1400 milliseconds and then we have the last button okay so this button will come at last which is at 1.6 seconds which is 1600 milliseconds okay so we have set all the timings now what we can do we can also set different animation for different things for example let's select this image now come to animations okay for example fade in is selected and you can select different animation and you will see those changes over here okay as you can see it is coming from bottom rotate from zero and so on so you can select different animation you can select the new one and again select any animation okay and you can see the changes okay this is how it will look so you can select animation for all the different text and so on and after you're satisfied just click on save slide so we have successfully created one slide similarly you can click on this add new slide and you can create different slides we have created three slides basically now you know how to create a slide and you can create different slides similarly okay fine guys and i won't be wasting my time and your time creating the same slide again and again three times because it is taking a lot of time okay so again i'll pause this video i'll create the uh, remaining two slides then i'll continue oh yeah so i have successfully created the slider now it's time to add the slider on our home page okay so for that 
come back over here under pages click on pages now select the home page click on edit click on backend editor click on add element and now search for slider revolution select the revolution slider from here okay now just select the slider which you want and click on save changes now click on update come back to your website refresh the website and hopefully we should see the changes okay guys as you can see we have this slider but we also have this thing home page we want we don't want this okay we want to remove this thing so let's do that again come come back to your uh, to this page backend editor and when you scroll down you will see this option hide page editor okay just tick mark that click on update and again come back to your website refresh and everything should be fine okay that home page is gone now this looks awesome okay now the next step is to add these things the ad blocks these are called ad blocks okay so for that again come back to this page the back end click on this plus button to add a new element search for ad blocks this is the one ad block okay first add an image let's see the image this is the camera image okay this is the image select this image click on set image then you have different option caption text action text so this is the caption text catch big deals on cameras okay so copy this thing paste it over here but if you see the deals is bold it is uh, you know uh, the weighted so what you can do to make that thing just put this code before deal strong type strong okay and after deals type this thing close this strong okay so this is how it should look deals should be under strong uh, tag okay so this is how it will look now click on save changes now is as, as you can see we have three different columns so how over here and select this one uh, one by three plus one by three plus one by three okay now we have three different columns now what do you have to do we have uh, again we have to click on add element and click on add block now this time it is this computers tablets smartphones and more okay we missed this thing shop now let's see how to do that first let's add the image this is the image okay hopefully yeah this is the image click on set image okay now let's add the caption text and here this times and more is under strong text okay so let's add strong before and after and more fine okay now here is the action text so this is the action text it says up to 70 okay so let's put up to 70 okay and then we can put an action link whenever someone clicks on that text where is the link here should be redirected to okay so click on save changes let's do those changes over here also it was here it was shop now so action text should be shop now link will be this save changes again click on add block okay this time it is shop the hottest products and we have this image set image caption text and this time hottest is under strong uh, code okay fine the action text is shop now and link is just a hashtag sign save changes click on update come back to your website refresh and we should see those changes now 
okay as you can see guys now we are seeing those changes now it's time to add this section but before adding this section we obviously need to create few products because these are different products we have created one product but that is from a seller's perspective how i'll show you how a seller will be able to add a product now we'll see how you as an admin can add a product okay so again come back to your dashboard how our products click on add new now let's add this product okay okay let's copy this title paste in over here then we have the product short description just copy it from here and come at the bottom here we have product short description paste it over here okay then it is 68 dollars so let's put in the price over here 68 dollars but let's first but let's first put the long description here the long description will come so let's scroll down and here you will see the description tag just copy everything from here okay and paste it over here now select the categories this is a notebook okay so it will come under laptops maybe so select laptops you can add some tags if you want you can add a product image this is the product image okay this one is the product image so let's click on set product image and select that this is the one select set product image okay now here is the simple product okay the price is 68 dollars okay now the sale price is actually the sale price is 68 dollars and the actual price is maybe 86 dollars okay so it is taxable we'll select the gst tax uh, class okay product layout product style inventory sku you can select any sku fine then you have shipping you have, you have to put in the weight dimension of the class share select any class uh, if this is a bulky product select the bulky class okay shipping class now you can add some linked products you have attributes we won't be adding these attributes because this is not for simple product this is for variable products and i showed you how to do this uh, in while we were doing the seller thing how to how a seller can create a variable product so this is the same thing but still i'll give a link to a video where i have shown how to create different type of products okay so make sure you watch that video also it is uh, it will be there in the video description below okay okay what is this accessories okay as i showed you when you see a product below that product there will be few suggestions okay so this is how because we haven't created any product we cannot add any accessories okay but if you have created some some products you can add those products it will come under this product okay so it will be under over here and you will get these options three different products added and so on okay now specifications this is the specifications okay so you can just copy and paste it over there okay so uh, while doing so you'll get a new tab which will say specifications and you can put all the specifications over here okay now everything is fine if you, if you want you can add some product gallery images okay it will be under this image you'll see some few images over here product gallery so you can also do that I'm going very fast because I don't want to waste uh, time uh, in creating this product uh, because we have already seen these things while creating the seller products okay and I'll also as I said you I'll also give you link uh, to videos where you can see those things in detail okay this is not main important the main important thing is creating the website and obviously making this website a multi vendor which we have seen how to do that now just click on publish okay so we have successfully created one product but we have to create many products because you know we uh, that then only we can add different products on our home page okay for example let me show you that for example this is the demo website home page and we have see those so many different products so first we'll have to create those products now what i'll do i'll pause this video again and i'll add some products uh, and then we'll continue okay okay guys as you can see i have added few products over here okay so once we have added the product now we can proceed further now let's add this section but as you can see it is a scheduled uh, section uh, there is a timer a sales timer 
which means uh, within five days if you purchase you will get this amount of sale okay so for that first let's add the edit this product and make this timer accessible okay so come to products this is the product just click on edit scroll down okay now here you'll see this schedule option just select that from select the from date and select the to date till when you want this sale to be accessible okay now click on update okay guys once you have done now let's add this section so for that again come back to your website okay open this page the home page in a new tab okay now click on this plus button and select electro on sales okay okay electro on sale product so this is the one okay now you can have a title which says special offer so just copy this thing and paste it over here show savings basically this will this is what it will show over here okay in amount saving text you can put any amount if you are saving product choice recent product or random product or a specific product uh, will add a specific product okay so this was the product and when you see this product over here here you have this code in the url bar which says 46 just copy that and paste it over here and click on save changes okay but here if you see uh, this is divided into two different sections this section okay there is a column and there is another column so let's divide this thing come back to the page and how over here and that is not there uh, uh, by default so we will have to create a custom so how over here and click on custom and from here type in 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 okay so this is what you have to type and click on update now everything is fine now click on this add plus button and now let's see what we have we have this things uh, this tab option featured on sale top rated so we have to select product tabs okay product tabs okay where it is here it is product tabs and you can uh, we, we we have to select the tab one title which is featured products fine and from your select featured products okay now the second one is on sale products so select on sale from your and from here also select on sale products the third one is top rated products okay come back select the third tab title on sale and from here also select okay it is top rated i'm sorry and select top rated products okay now click on save changes and click on update now come back to your website and refresh this website okay now let's scroll down okay as you can see now we have this option over here okay it is showing the timer over here and we have this thing three different products on featured product when we click on on sale we have different products top rated products but we are seeing only three products and we should be seeing six products as you can see over here so again come back to this page the edit page and click on this uh, setting this pencil button and we should be seeing okay enter product items enter column items so enter product items just enter six over here and click on save changes click on update hopefully i hope now everything should be fine refresh this website okay now we have six different products fine okay now we have six different products over here so we have done this thing now let's see the next section okay this is the next section this section is called 212 section okay so let's add that come back to this page over here click on this plus button and select 212 product 212 grid okay select this one you can enter a title do we have a title over here no we don't have okay we okay it says best deals best 
details okay and you can product uh, you can select which type of product to show feature product on sale product if you leave then any regular product will be shown for example we want to show only feature products over here okay then or if, if you want only specific product to be shown you can uh, type in the product ids of those products okay now number of categories to display for example here there is one two three four five categories so let's put in five categories over here you can order it by different criteria okay okay fine everything looks fine click on save changes click on update now again come back to this website and ref okay this was not the website come back to our website refresh the website and we should see the changes okay guys as you can see now we can see this 212 uh, section also now let's see the another section which we will have to add okay so this is this section the best seller section okay so again come back to this page scroll down click on this plus button and search for card carousel okay product card carousel this is the one we want okay now we can add this title best seller okay okay then you can have this rows columns and so on product short code what kind of product to be shown which we'll just put in products okay I have no products allow okay now click on save changes click on update come back to your website refresh the website okay guys we can see this thing but this thing looks totally different uh, from this one uh, i think we have missed some changes over here so again come back to this website or uh, this edit page click on this pencil button and here it is says rows and options so let's see the demo website here we have two rows and three different columns so let's put two rows three columns uh, show carousel navigation click on allow because here it is so as you can see we have this navigation options okay show top text we can say allow show categories allow limit okay then we can uh, type in three okay number of categories to display three okay limits will be the number of products to display for example 20 products and number of categories to display will be three click on save changes click on update and hopefully this should help us just refresh the website okay now it looks awesome exactly like the demo website okay now the last section hopefully yeah this is the last section which is the recently added section so let's add that section again come back to this page click on this plus button and select recently added okay recent products okay not this one now click on this plus button and select electro product carousel okay where is that now electro products carousel fine select this one and from your products short code select uh, recent products fine and rest everything is fine just click on save changes now click on update again come back to the website refresh and we should see all these changes over here okay we can see this but as you can see there is no title nothing so we forgot to put the title just copy this title again come back over here just edit this enter title click on save changes click on update now everything will be fine just refresh the website okay now we can see this this looks awesome now and this is already here okay now we have to do some changes over here in the footer section and we also have to remove this section okay so come back to your dashboard and before that let's add this thing the menus okay this menu we don't uh, we haven't uh, put this menu yet as you can see this is blank right now so come back to your we uh, website 
Hover Appearances, click on Menus. Click on Create a New Menu. And just name it anything. Uh, I'm naming it as Secondary because this is Secondary Menu. Click on Create Menu. Okay, so first make uh, sure you tick mark this Secondary nav. Now what all we have, we have super deals, featured brands, trending styles, whatever you have. And this is also part of the uh, menu, okay? So let's start adding those. So go to custom links. The first one is super deals, okay? So just put in any URL you want this to redirect to. Just put in super deals over here. Click on add to menu. Then we have featured brands. Then we have training styles. Then we have gift cards. Okay, then the last one is free shipping on orders over $50. Okay, so let's put that also. Free shipping over $50. Click on add to menu now here everything is fine but if you see the first one is a red color and the last menu is just to the extreme right so we have uh, small codes for that so again come back to this menu and open this first one the super deals one and under css classes just type in highlight okay and now open the last one and under css classes just type in pull dash right okay now click on save menu come back to your website refresh and now we should see your menu over here okay fine now we can see the menu over here so we have created almost all the menus the top left top right the department menu secondary menu okay now with this we have completed the home page okay guys now let's see the sidebar the shop sidebar for example let's open any product let's open this product and as you can see there is no sidebar over here okay whereas when you open the demo website uh, and you open any product we'll see a sidebar okay here is a sidebar so let's open and add this sidebar so again come back to your website to the dashboard and under appearances you will see widgets just click on that and the first one is product categories okay fine so under it will be under shop sidebar okay now let's see woocommerce product categories okay woocommerce product categories this is the one and from here select shop sidebar click on add widget click on save the next one is compare product we don't have any product but when we add two different products here and we click on compare we can compare those two different products okay so let's add the compare thing woocommerce compare widget over here Okay, where is it? WooCommerce compare widget here it is. Fine, you can put in any title. Compare products. Click on save. Then we have cart icon, then recently viewed products. Okay, then again, come back over here. It should be cart WooCommerce cart. Here it is. Add this thing. Okay. Then the last one is recently added. Okay. Recently viewed that was I think. Oh yeah, here it is. Recently viewed WooCommerce recently viewed. Click on, and you can decrease this to five products. Okay. Click on save. Now again, come back to your website, refresh this page and we should see the sidebar over here. Okay, as you can see guys, now we have the sidebar over here. Okay, we haven't seen any products, so that's why we are not seeing the recently viewed. 
and we don't have any product in the cart that's why it is not showing but everything is fine okay so with this we have added the sidebar now let's add few more pages for example if you see we have created a few pages for example let's see the fact page frequently asked questions page okay this is the one let's add this thing so again come back to your dashboard how our pages click on add new page now enter the title as fact okay now click on back end editor add listing search for fact you'll get this option okay so for example this is the first question what shipping method uh, is used so let's put any question over here okay here it will be the title and here it will be the answer so this is the title and this one these two lines are the answer okay so answer will come here delete this and the title will come here okay now click on save changes now let me copy these things two three times because i don't want to do the same things again and again so this is how you do that okay now we have to hide the header from here so just select a hide header page header okay now click on publish now let's view this page in a new tab okay guys so this is how it looks this looks fine okay we have this question the answer over there fine now we also have created a contact us page so let's see how to create this contact us page okay so this is the contact us page so let's see how to create that again come back over here and click on add new page enter the title contact us okay again back end editor now the first thing is a map so click on add element search for map so here it is google maps okay now what you have to do open maps or, or google maps over here map.google whatever it is map.google.com and search for your map for example let me search for cyan mumbai so here it is now there is an option when you click on this menu button you get this option uh, share or embed map just click on that and go to embedded map now here there is an iframe code uh, source just click on copy this code from here come back over here and delete this thing and paste in your code okay just save changes now click on this plus button now what we have to add we have to add these two sections the first section there is a message at the top and then we have a contact page so let's first add this message so add a text box okay now let's add this thing so okay fine for this i have given the code so when you see this code there is a contact page the first select this one okay copy this much and come back over here and paste it under uh, the text block click on save changes then below that we have a contact page so first we have to create a contact seven page first let's click on publish open this contact uh how are this contact and open this add new in a new tab we have to add a new contact form and come this code pa page come to this code page and here you will see contact form code okay so just copy everything till here okay this much copy this code and name this anything for example cont okay and select everything delete it paste in your own code click on save okay now again come back to this page click on this add button this plus button search for contact you'll see contact form 7 from here now from here select this cont which we have just created and click on save changes okay now uh, how are you and select half by half plus half because we have two different sections okay but this is not half 
I think this is 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 maybe okay I think it is okay 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 so select this one and now select this thing add search for text block and again this code is also given in this code page okay here it is contact us page r store so select everything copy come back over here and paste it over here now from here if you want to change anything for example if you want to change this address then go at the top and here you have the address okay then here from here you can type in your own address similarly you can you know uh, replace this email address uh, with your own email address so let's scroll down here is the email address you can just delete this thing and put in your own email address now click on save changes and again for this also hide the header okay click on update now let's view this page in a new tab okay guys so we can see the map but there is a problem over here as you can see where uh, when we see this code and this code it is just showing the code we don't want this thing so again come back over here on this page edit this text block select everything cut everything from here and go to text section and paste those over here now click on save changes similarly over here click on this edit button select everything cut it and go to this text section and paste it over here click on save changes now click on update now again let's come to this page refresh the page and now everything should be fine okay guys so now everything is fine we have our map we have everything over here so this looks awesome so we have completed the fac and the contact us page successfully now let's uh, add this menu over here for example if you see in the this thing we have to create a menu for this first we have to create this menu okay so let's add a menu come back to your dashboard how our appearances select menus create a new menu name it as footer menu okay I don't have to select anything from here okay now we have we will add the fact page and uh, let's come to view all page the contact us page the fact page will be there just click on add to menu okay and then we have will add a custom link in the URL put this hashtag sign and in the text put in terms and conditions add this thing okay save menu now let's add this menus also important links and find it first okay so click on create a new menu title will be important links click on create menu let's see what all we have over here we have my account checkout cart shop quiz list so let's add all those pages over here okay my account cart wish list my orders whatever pages you want just click on add to menu click on save menu then again we have another one which says find it first and we have all the categories under that so again come back over here create a new menu name it as find it first create menu and put all the categories under that okay now uh, the product categories now let's select this different categories and click on add to menu click on save menu okay guys so we have successfully created all the three menus now it's time to add these things in the footer okay so come back to your website here you will see this electro options go to that and click on social media first let's add all these social links first then we'll add the footer okay
now put in your facebook your twitter all the urls over here okay whatever you want just put in all the don't put this hashtag sign obviously put in your real uh, urls now after that just click on save changes okay then come to footer show brand slider this is off show footer widgets it is on and show footer newsletter make this thing off okay now here we have to change all these settings okay first is the logo this is the logo instead of this logo what you have to do you have to insert your own logo so just click on this upload button and upload your own logo then we have show footer colors uh, section okay this is the section fine and now you can change all this information got question call us 24 7 here it is got question call us 24 7 you can change this thing okay then you can change this number this is the number you can put in your own number then you have all this contact information address okay this is the address you can put in your own address after you are done doing all these things just click on save and publish and this is the footer credit okay here is it you see this is the footer credit so in maybe if you want to add your own website name instead of multi-purpose e-commerce website so here it is instead of my blog you will have you want to maybe add your own website name for example naya shake then just type in naya shake and just you know change this link if you want click on save changes after that okay now come back to your website refresh the website and everything should be fine now okay scroll down okay as you can see all the changes have taken place and here you have near shake okay now it's time to you know change these things okay so let's do that come back to your dashboard how are appearances and you have widgets okay then you have footer widget footer bottom widgets okay now let's scroll down and here you have this custom menu and from here select footer bottom widget and click on add widget as you can see the first one is important links so just copy this title put in the title important link and from the menu select important link one this is the one click on save now again click on custom menu select footer bottom widgets click on add widget now this time we have the find it first menu okay so put in the title find it first and select the find it first menu click on save and the last one is check this out menu okay so again custom menu make sure footer bottom widget is selected click on add widget okay now check it out okay where it is okay did we not create this okay we have created this but we named this as different we named it as footer menu i guess okay huh now click on save and again come back to your website refresh and now everything should be fine okay guys so everything is fine we have completed this website just few things are left okay so for that again come back to your website over here and when you click on this general settings you know you have different options you have this header you know from here you can change your logo we haven't changed our logo this is the logo when you change it to your logo here from here you can do so okay then we'll also see how to change the fav icon so for that come back to your website click on customize okay first click on this site identity and we haven't changed this thing yet my blog it is it will be your name of the website for example this, this could be ntech solutions okay and you can also have a tagline best e-commerce site whatever it is okay then here it is the site icon the fav icon when you see this website at the top you see this small logo this is the fav icon so you can upload your own fav icon from here and click on save and publish okay now cut this thing okay guys with this we complete this awesome tutorial i'm sorry for going uh, fast i think i was going fast 
okay so i'm really sorry for that but you know the main important thing was the first section which is the multi vendor section and rest everything was you know the thing which we have done many many times okay so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial make sure to give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my channel to you know get more awesome stuff more awesome videos from me okay see you guys in the next tutorial take care